In this video, you will learn about the UI Pop-Up Manager, a component responsible to show UI pop-ups in a sequence. Let's go! The UI Pop-Up Manager will help you create something like an achievement system. Let's say you want to show several pop-ups at once, so the user may have gotten one or five achievements and you should not uh, show them all at once. And this is where uh, this system, the UI pop-up manager comes in. And we have a simple scene and I'm gonna press play and I'm gonna show you how it works. Basically, I have four achievements and I'm gonna show them all at once and you will see that they will appear sequentially. So one, two, three, four. This is the first achievement. It is set to disappear after three seconds or on click. Let's say I got this achievement twice. One, two, you will see it will appear again. It is basically uh, creating a queue and um, showing the proper achievement. Of course, you can show whatever you want. All right, we also have an option to clear the pop-up queue. So should you change the level or something like that and do not want the user to keep seeing achievements, you can also clear it with a simple method. So let's say he got a lot of achievements, they will keep appearing and let's clear the pop-up queue and it stops. This is all done with a simple script. And uh, by the way, this is the example 12 UI pop-up manager that uh, will be available with the UI version 3.0.c2. All right. So these are some simple buttons. And in order to show an achievement, I'm actually triggering a method uh, for this pop-up script. In trigger unit events. And here I select the achievement number. So this is 0, 1, 2, and 3. And now let me show you the code because it is quite simple. This is where I define my achievements. So I have an achievement name, a description, and of course an icon. I can add as many as I want as this is a very simple system. Let's see the code. So I have a pop-up name and this is the pop-up that I'm using to show achievements. And let's see it. So tools, do the control panel. Let's go to the pop-ups database and you will see here that I have an achievement pop-up. E12 pop-up achievement. This is the prefab that I'm using. Let me show you the prefab. This is a bit more complex than the, the previous examples because I used uh, an animation. I used a special button. So this achievement has an overlay, but I disabled it. So this is with it enabled and this is with the overlay disabled. This way I'm not affecting anything be behind this. So you, your UI will still function. And I have a container that is animated. And this is the container animation. Let me show you. So show. And of course, I also have a hide animation. But you may have noticed that also the components get animated. And here I have a simple animation. Let's enter preview mode. All right. So this is the animation that is getting played. And I'm doing that by using a progress target animator and of course a progressor. That's why this is a bit more advanced. So, uh, yeah. And here I have an icon, a title and a message. I'm using some containers in order to get this animation right, regardless of the resolution and the positioning. And yeah, and also the, the body. I'm using a, a child here under the container because this is actually a UI button that uh, when you are clicking it, it will, uh, let me show you this. When clicked, it will uh, also close this pop-up. So let me show you again in case you forgot. And now you should look for the animation and for the button. So if I click this, check out how these things got animated in and out. Yeah. And of course, this is a button. And I can do that. Now, let me show you the code. So I'm using a pop-up name, so I know what prefab I'm using. 
and also I have an achievements list. This is actually a serial, serializable class that has two strings, the achievement name, the description, and the icon that I want to show. And uh, every button uh, is set to show achievement and the achievement ID. The ID is actually the index of the achievement. So let me show you here. I have index zero, one, two, and three. Of course, we can add one more and I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you how it is easy it is to, to create a list like this one, all right? So I make some uh, checks. I make sure that the achievements is not null, that the achievement ID is valid. So it's greater than zero and it's less than the number of achievements in the list. Then I try to get the achievement and I make sure that it is not null. Then I create a clone, a UI pop-up clone from the, and I, I get it from the UI pop-up manager. I make sure that it is not null, just in case. Then I set the icon and the achievement name and achievement de description. Usually if you want to show a pop-up, you'll say, um, in this, this particular case, show. If you do that, you will not, you will see the pop-up instantly, but you will, you will not be using the queue system that uh, we're using right, right now. And I'm going to show you right now, right now how this looks. It's not what you're, you're looking for. So by doing this, you just call show on the UI pop-up. Let's wait for it to compile. You'll notice that the achievements will appear instantly. The UI pop-up will appear instantly, but they will not be queued. And this makes for bad user experience. So let's enter play mode. All right. So now if I click it, they have been stacked. And this may not be the thing you are looking for. So that is why we use this UI pop-up manager show pop-up. And here I said, I say exactly what pop-up and add the pop-up queue, of course. And this is the instant animation. And here I have another method to clear the pop-up queue. It's very simple, UI pop-up manager clear queue in case you're changing the level or something like that. And you do not want the achievements to keep uh, popping. Let's go back to Unity. Let's wait for it to compile and let's enter play mode. And you will see now the normal way of showing UI pop-ups with the UI pop-up manager. All right. Okay. And you will see they, they appear one after the other. And I can also dismiss them. And of course, clear the pop-up queue. This also works. And that's it. Uh, let's create one more achievement. So let's say here five and uh, let's select a, uh, let's say crosshairs and let's say special, special target, kill your target in 10 seconds, something like that. So I have one more achievement. This is number four. And let's also add one more button. Let's duplicate this. Let's change the icon so we know what it is. And this will be achievement four. And if you remember, I told you that in order to show my achievements, in, in, in your case, you would do that from code. So from somewhere in your code, but I'm using buttons to, to show the system. So I have a Unity event and I'll just say number four. So index number four. Zero, one, two, three, four. And let's enter play mode. And we've just created one more achievement. There you go. So it's really easy to create something like that. It took me basically around 10 seconds for uh, 10 seconds to add it. And of course the script and everything. Yeah. And that's it for, uh, oh, one more thing. You do not need to add it, although you can do it. So you can go to Doozy, Managers, you can add the UI pop-up manager. You don't need to do that. You shouldn't care about it because the first time you need to use it, it will get instantiated and uh, it will be available in your uh, project. So let me show you. We don't have anything here. Let's just show this one and you'll see UI pop-up manager just appeared. So you don't really need to do anything. Of course, it has a manual uh, link to this video, to the YouTube video. 
And you can also open the UI pop-up database from here, should you want to do that. And that's it for the UI pop-up manager. Thank you very much.